All right, let's get started with step two of how to make a critter bot. This one is about electricity. It's going to help our robot turn on and come to life. So as we get started, let's talk about what electricity does for us. Well, it gives objects power. And when I say power, are we talking about superhuman strength power? Well, not exactly. I'm talking about power for electrical devices like light bulbs. Light bulbs without power can't turn on. They can't light up things. Or power tools. Power tools like this drill without power or electricity can't help us drill things. Or things like iPhones that we use to play games or make phone calls. Without electricity, we can't do those things. So now that we know that, how is electricity created? Like, where does it come from? Well, one of the places are actually, it comes from clouds. So clouds have electrical charge and they create lightning, which is electricity. Another place is wind. So wind can actually be used to generate electricity. This is a turbine here, which is used to do that for us. Another one is the sun. The sun actually shines its rays down onto Earth, and we have these things called solar panels. The solar panels takes the sun energy and creates electricity. We call this solar energy. The other one is called chemicals. So chemicals are made up of atoms, and they come together in these cool puzzle pieces to create molecules that become chemicals. So if you do it just right, like a recipe, these chemicals can actually create electricity. And we're going to use that one in our robot. Now, how is electricity stored? So we need to take that electricity and put it somewhere that's a battery. So this battery right here is a AA battery. You'll find it in lots of things like TV remotes. So if you ever had to replace a battery in your TV remote, the battery probably looks something like this. And that was where you're electricity was coming from that battery. Now this is a 9 volt battery. You don't find these quite as often, but you'll find them inside smoke alarms for your house. So if you have to ever have to replace the beeping smoke alarm, it's going to be a 9 volt battery. And uh, we have these bigger batteries that look like boxes. These are used to power things like stereo systems or little TVs that are inside your car. So you'll find them either in the front of the car or the back of the car. And there's also these small, these small batteries that look like coins. They're called coin cell batteries, and they're perfect to give power to little, little devices, things like watches. Because our robot is really small, we're going to use this small battery, this coin cell battery. Okay, so now that we know that, I want to talk about Mr. Electricity. He's a friend of mine. And here's the thing about him. He lives inside a battery because batteries store electricity. And he likes to go out to play. So he's inside his house, and he sees a tree and a bunny. And he gets a little bit sad because he wants to go out, but he can't. And here's the thing. He needs a path. Mr. Electricity won't go out without a path. And the path has to go from plus, out from the plus, and in back to the minus. So let's give him a path. So I'm going to here draw a path in this green right here. And you can see the path goes from plus to the minus. So if we have that path, Mr. Electricity gets happy and he says, I can go out. He can go out. So let's see what happens here. So Mr. Electricity goes ahead and he follows the path. And you see he's going to go all along the path from plus back to minus. And you notice this is a closed loop. He makes kind of a circle or a loop. Okay, That's going to come, come in later. So path for Mr. Electricity is a circuit. So that's a special word for us to know. A path, this green path, is called a circuit. Now it's not any type of circuit. It's a special circuit called a closed circuit. And we call it a closed circuit because there is a closed loop. That loop I was talking about. Now if we put an object in the path, like a motor, and we say, Mr. Electricity, when you get to this part of the path, I need you to go through it. He's actually going to go through the motor and turn it on. And that is how we turn things on. We make closed circuits, and then we put things in the path of Mr. Electricity, and he's going to turn it on. All right. So now that we know that, let's take a look at this situation again. This is our closed circuit in Mr. Electricity. He wants to come out. And it goes from plus to minus. That's our loop there. But let's say we break the path. We break the circuit. We do that. Now there's going to be a gap. So now this is no longer a closed circuit. This is an open circuit because there's an opening 
in our circuit. And so because of that, there's this caution sign saying, Mr. Electricity, don't come because you're going to just fall off the path. So if that happens, Mr. Electricity, he becomes sad because he can't go out if the path is broken. Now, if he doesn't come out, the motor is not going to turn on because there's no electricity going through the motor. Now, if we fix it with this little dashed line here, what happens? It becomes a closed circuit again because now Mr. Electricity can go on that path. The caution sign goes away. Mr. Electricity becomes happy and he starts to move. So he's going to go just go along the path again. And when he gets to the motor, he's going to turn it on. So that's something that I really want you guys to get here is that if we have an open circuit, we can always fix it by fixing the gap, fixing the opening to make it work again. So let's recap. A closed circuit is when Mr. Electricity is happy and he comes out and then the motor turns on. Now, a open circuit is in a situation where Mr. Electricity is sad and in that case, he stays in, he doesn't come out, and if he stays in, the motor is not on. All right, so now we know closed circuit, open circuit, let's go ahead and build our own circuit. So what we have to do is get our kit here and open it up and see what we have in there. There's a couple things I wanna point out to you. Number one is we have a coin cell battery, we talked about those, and a pancake motor, a little motor here. All right, so let's first look at this coin cell battery. The top here, you'll see a plus sign. That's going to be the plus of the battery, and the bottom is going to be the minus of the battery. Now, Mr. Electricity's inside, but he's kind of sad right now because he's not able to come out. And let's you know talk about that more. The pancake motor is here, but we want him to go through the motor, but he can't right now. So this is an open circuit because there's no there's no path. There's an opening, but if we fix it by creating a little path here and a little path here. And notice the top one goes to plus, the bottom one goes to minus. Now we have a loop. We have a path. And if we have a path, then it's not a open, it's a closed circuit. Mr. Electricity gets happy and he starts moving along the path. Because this is a closed circuit, right? So he's going along the path. Now if that happens, this pancake motor, it vibrates, it shakes. So you guys can experiment with that, see what happens. The key thing is to make el Mr. Electricity come out. So now that we've done that, done that, you go ahead and assemble your robot. There are instructions in your instruction booklet on how to put your motor onto the robot so that the ro whole robot starts moving. All right, and once you have that, you're done with your robot. It should be moving and then you can create some extra activities. Uh, you can make a whole bunch of robots or you can make a robot path. So that's it for now. Good job, you guys have created a circuit and you've also built a robot. Keep on building and uh, have fun building robots.